I came across a video the other day and they talked about how this niche is super unique and there is so much opportunity for growth because it's an untapped unique niche. I decided to come here on Amazon and decided to go ahead and start doing some research. So I found Color by Numbers coloring book for kids ages 8 to 12 specifically. Okay, it has 6,000 results and I'm going to go ahead and click on my Katie Spy to see if this is, it really is profitable and as unique as, uh, as they made it sound in the video. The popularity, uh, there are only a small number of books performing well for this keyword. Uh, and then, uh, potential, the revenue potential for this kind of book is under, under this keyword looks a little average. And then the competition is very strong, which we could see here. It's 6,000 results. And if I search under color by numbers, let's see, just color by number for adults. It's 20,000 on the search results. If I click on my Katie spy, uh, let's see what comes up. Okay. Now this is promising. It says color by numbers for adults, popularity, the keyword, uh, this is a popular keyword and there are a number of books here performing well, uh, revenue potential. It says it looks very good and competition, competition is fierce, but if there is demand and there is a uh, opportunity for revenue, it may be a something to explore. Now I went ahead and started playing around with how we can go about and design this type of book and it's pretty easy when you're doing it for children that are very young uh such as like i want to say five to eight or maybe five to six uh, let's just see what we have here let's color the numbers coloring book for kids uh let's color the number okay this is another keyword let's color with numbers let's color with numbers Okay, so under the keywords, go ahead and write this down. Under the keywords, let's color the numbers, coloring book for kids. Okay, the search result is 352. I'm going to go ahead and click on my Katie Spy to see what comes up. And okay, let's color the numbers, coloring book. Okay, so popularity, it is not a very popular word, like keyword potential the keyword is rather low the revenue potential is low and uh you can easily rank on the first page for these keywords given that uh there's not a lot of competition it's not that saturated so maybe i mean it's up to you i just want to go ahead and share this with you um, because i saw that video said that this could be a very profitable niche you can make i don't know ten thousand dollars a month with this so i was like okay i don't know if i believe that but here we are this is the research I went to Canva and I started exploring different types of ways to go ahead and approach this type of book. I created these book covers using the magic media here on Canva. And although it's not perfect, it's not the best visual. Um, I think this is, uh, it's worth trying to use magic media to create these types of books, or you do what I did here where I just included different types of elements and I went ahead and just added the number, assigned the number, and that's that. I'm going to do one page with you here on real time so that you could see what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and start with a blank template. And we're going to go ahead and start searching for, let's say this color by number book is about animals. Let's say it's going to be using, let's see, animal. So the way that I would search for it is animal coloring book let's see what comes up under animal okay so animal coloring book as you can see we have a couple animals here i would click on let's say this owl and then maybe start using some type of like different lines uh let me go ahead and minimize this because we want to make sure that, since it's a color by number type of book we want to go ahead and leave, leave uh, some space in the bottom so that we can add let's say for example color uh, number one everything with uh, number one is in red number two is blue number three is orange number four is green so we want to go ahead and do that how do we do that let's go ahead and go to elements and we're going to go ahead and choose a rectangle right and we could do something like this right here. We can put it down here. And then here inside, we're going to add some text. So 
something like this, right? Now, to make sure that we can start, I guess, breaking this down, we can do either. There's, I think there's two ways that we can go about this. And this is just me testing and trying different things. So let's say, for example, uh, for the eyes, we want to go ahead and let's say they're going to be orange. So it's going to be a number three. So we're going to put number three here. Ah, I just moved the owl. So number three would be here. And then I would put another number three here. And then I would use number one. Blue, maybe this part of the body. We could do it. Uh, we could do something like that. And then maybe red would be the bottom. Or it could be, sorry, it could be number four something like this or i would actually start adding different elements like lines There you go. Like this is just a little an idea of what you can do to create this type of book. And uh, it's it's exactly what I did here in this page where I just assigned different numbers to different parts of the page. And it's also a way of you being able to make it your own. Just get creative with what you can do. You could do things around the page. Maybe you could add flowers. It's all about creativity. I hope you found this video helpful. Go ahead and subscribe and I will see you on the next video. God bless.